Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the head of Mopar North America, Steve Beam. Hello everyone, my name is Steve Beam and I appreciate everyone coming out this afternoon. Um, if you're a SEMA regular, you may have been expected to be greeted by someone with an Italian accent. For the last nine years, my friend and colleague, Pietro Gorlier, has been up here on this stage. But recently, in addition to my role as head of Chrysler, Dodge, SRT, and Fiat brands, I'm also taking over Mopar North America. So I'm going to keep the horsepower revving on this side of the pond while Pietro stokes the global fires from Italy. But before uh, passing the baton, Pietro told me there's two things that I have to do at SEMA. Number one is keep the tradition of starting at 426, and we did that. Number two is to always make sure we bring a big announcement, and trust me, I have one. So Mopar always says something special for SEMA. It's because SEMA is the ultimate sh uh, place to showcase how Mopar parts and accessories turn imagination into reality. And as an example, last year at SEMA, Mopar revealed a wide selection of products exclusively developed for the all-new Jeep Wrangler and also gave you a first look at the 2018 Wrangler. This year, we're able to show you how these products have earned their stripes. They were battle-tested under the most brutal conditions on the Moab trails. From beadlock wheels to tube doors to off-road LED light lift kits, these vehicles are living proof that Mopar stands for performance, and in this case, off-road performance. As you can see, these concepts are not just pretty faces designed to look good in a car show. No, these are the real deal, engineered, developed to celebrate the Jeep brand's unparalleled capabilities and deliver where it matters the most on the trail. Jeep Performance Parts now offers more than 200 products from off-road readiness to lifestyle accessories to customization. Mopar has what you need and what you want. But this isn't the only good news we have to share with you today. Yesterday, the Jeep Wrangler was recognized for the ninth consecutive year as SEMA's 4x4 SUV of the year. Ram 50, yeah. The Ram 1500 was also recognized as a hot top truck, and the Dodge Challenger ranked in the top three vehicles in the car category as well. So I'd like to say thank you to the judges, the customizers here at SEMA for selecting Wrangler, Ram, and Challenger as vehicles that embody their inspiration. We appreciate the recognition. In addition to these honors this morning, together with our partners at Dana, we announced a new axle for the hardcore off-roader. This will continue to add to the off-road capabilities that you've come to expect from Wrangler. Now let's talk about another great brand of ours at FCA, Ram Trucks. With its work hard, play hard, dual personality, Ram 1500 is another incredibly versatile vehicle that is not only built to serve, but built to be customized. Here on the shore floor, you're going to see two concept vehicles that push the boundaries of Ram's 1500 personality. First is the Mopar modified Ram 1500 we call Lowdown. This Ram 1500 is trimmed in custom paint, includes authentic Mopar details such as wheels, performance hoods, tonneau cover, as well as other accessories. The other Ram 1500 is the Mopar modified Ram Rebel. It is like the fraternal twin to the Lowdown, but only this sibling prefers dirt rather than asphalt. Its off-road readiness comes with the Mopar 2-inch lift kit, running boards, beadlock wheels, LED off-road lamps, just to name a few. And while some of these concept parts might only be prototypes today, they could, in reality, they could become reality tomorrow based on your reaction here at SEMA. So please stop by the M bar after the show and let us know what you think. And speaking of concepts, I know that you know that there is something special under this cover over here. But before we show you the surprise, let's hear it straight from the designer's mouth. Let's roll the video. My name is Joe Daner, and I'm the director for Ram Exterior and Mopar Design. Mopar is so steeped in these rich, brands from the past and performance and muscle and horsepower. All those great things from the late 60s, to not do something that's inspired by that would be a crime. We focused ultimately on 1968, which just happens to be the 50th anniversary of the 1968 Dodge Charger. I think when it came out, it really kind of shocked 
of the world, so to speak, because of the design of the car. It was so pure, it was so muscular. It was truly something that, from a design perspective, was very attractive and, and timeless here 50 years later. The things that we did to the concept, we actually shortened it because we did some tricks to the uh, fronts and rears to kind of tidy things up a bit, but we lowered it substantially. So I think when you see our concept, you're gonna notice it's like, gosh, what did you guys do to make the car look lower, longer, wider? We always felt that the wheelbase was on the 68 was a little short. So on the concept, we put a 20 inch wheel in the front and tire combination and a 21 in the rear. We actually took the front wheel and we moved it forward two inches. So the wheelbase went from 117 to 119 inches. So the back is just as special. The tail lamps, the exhaust, the backup lights, the simplicity of the design, we wanted to maintain that. We shook it up a little bit. We put a massive spoiler back there. I think it's like three and a half or four inches tall. I think the world is gonna be very surprised, especially everybody at SEMA, and we're gonna be excited to show them. It's very befitting for this concept, and uh, it was just great to be a part of it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I know the Mopar aficionados will go crazy over this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the 1968 Dodge Supercharger concept. Hey, uh, Joe's actually in the audience somewhere. Uh, where are you at, Joe? There he is right there. Uh, let's give a round of applause to Joe and his team. I mean, look at that masterpiece. If this vehicle doesn't get your pulses racing, I'm not sure what will. Uh, this is just what you call a showstopper. And if the show ended right here, uh, I would consider it a success. However, Mopar has never been satisfied with doing the expected. Yes, this supercharger concept is beautiful. It's the perfect package where heritage meets modern styling, but it's just not the wrapping that's important, but it's also about what's under the hood. So I think it's time for me to address the elephant in the room. All right, I think it is. So over the last few years, Mopar has uh, been excited uh, with words like horsepower, hemicrate engines, Hellcrate. In fact, in 2016 at SEMA, we debuted a 345 and a 392 crate hemi engine kits. And on the high end, they put out about 500 horsepower. And then during the 2017 uh, SEMA, we uh, put performance enthusiasts into overdrive by unleashing the Hell Crate. 707 horsepower, supercharged Crate Hemi engine kit. And it was, uh, it was a knocker, right? So never before had anybody factory direct OEM a 707 horsepower plug and play solution, but we did. The Crate Hemis and the Crate and the Hell Crate are here on the show floor today. But if you want more proof what Mopar brings to serious credentials, our Gen 3 Hemi aluminum race block is also on display today. And in September, it helped our Mopar Dodge Challenger drag pack to the winner circle at the National Muscle Car Association World Street Finals, securing our first championship for the factory supercars. Earlier this month, drag racer Leah Pritchard also drove the Mopar Dodge Challenger drag pack to her third consecutive win and clinched the NHRA factory stock showdown championship. And in fact, that car sitting right over there. You guys can look at it later. So like Leah and all of you, we're always looking for that extra ounce of performance. And the good news is, we found it. And you may have seen our teasers, by the way, on social media. And as you watched, you knew something big was coming. Well, the wait is over. Roll the video. Introducing another first for Mopar. Plug and play, 1,000 horsepower, Mopar 426 supercharged elephant crate hemi engine.
That's right, this Mopar Helifant Crate Hemi engine delivers a staggering 1,000 horsepower along with 950 pound-feet of torque. This Helifant is a beast. The Helifant reaches the 1,000 horsepower mark through a aluminum block engine um, that delivers massive weight savings uh, because we wanted to keep this Helifant light. Bulked up displacement and we even added an upgraded supercharger. To give your track rivals a signal that we're packing something special under the hood, the unique Helifant logo, tribute to the legendary 1964 Mopar 426 engine, affectionately named the Elephant for its size and power. Combined with the Helifant Crate Hemi engine kit, a thousand horsepower can easily be dropped under the hood of a pre-1976 street vehicle or an off-road vehicle. The Helifant Crate Hemi engine kit will be on sale early next year so check out CrateHemi.com for more information. Well, we'd like to think the Helifant is a very special gift and all the performance lovers out there, but what's a gift if you can't open it up and play with it? So I think we should fire this thing up. I also think we should bring Pietro back up to help me fire this thing up. So Pietro Gorlier. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. So excited to be here once more, once here again. And, um, and by the way, Steve, there is a good friend of Mopar in, uh, here at SEMA. Uh, he has been my partner in crime for a couple of years, and I, he is a true, true, true Mopar, Mopar enthusiast. I mean, we have a little discussion about who invented Mopar or no car, but I think I will take uh, Mark was on stage with us. Come on up, Mark. Where are you at? There he is. Mopar, no car. Yeah. Mopar, no car. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's mental. As always, yeah. they told you to walk in front of the car and you can <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. Who else would do How this other than Mopar, right? Oh, so, that's what mental. do you guys think? Let's, uh, why don't you help me get this thing fired oh, up, we're right? Starting it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, we're right? We had a little yeah. discussion last time. Nobody, Nobody cares. Yeah. Yeah. Take the fire marshal 15 minutes to get here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in my motel room. Uh, Start it. Yeah. All right, so on the count of three, guys, help me. One, two, three. Now the fire marshal is gonna come. There you go. Oh, listen to that. Bad listen boy. to that. Come on, now give it a round. Yeah. Get it free. <laughs> Woo! Awesome. Oh, all right. Now that's real. Yeah. That sounds beautiful to my ears. Oh, it's unbelievable. That's beautiful. That's Mopar style. That is what Mopar's done ever since yeah. it started. Hey, Love and, Mo it. and Mark, since you're a good friend of Mopar and a good friend of Pietro, I'm going to consider you a friend of mine. And Thank by you. the way, that engine's yours. You can use it in one of your project cars coming up. How about that? Are you serious? I'm serious. Is it that engine that? yours? <laughs> wow. Serious? Yeah, seriously, it's yours. Well, so okay. So let's get off the stage for the far. <laughs> I could take it now? Yeah. If you could yeah, carry it on your back, you can at take the end of it. The show. That's crazy. That's serious? You Thank you. Right. Yeah. you right. I didn't know. That's cool. That's, so anyway, uh, everyone, please help us celebrate the Helifant's thousand horsepower. There's a beer master uh, van right over there. So as always, it's Mopar or, or no, no car. car. Thanks, everyone. Woo! Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. That is incredible. Thank you.